Hi guys, welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the most amount of caps the quickest way from the train station vendors or any other vendor in the game for that matter. This is my top 5 things that you can do to get those 1400 caps that he has every single day. Straight away we're going to start with the location of this particular camp that I have. In the last video that I did I told you that it was here for a reason and the actual vending machine trading was very slow here. The reason it's here though is my number one item. It's There's a lake behind it as you can see and we've got a water farm going on. So we're going to collect the water from every single one of these uh, water purifiers. Obviously the larger ones provide more water, the smaller ones a bit less, they normally 3 etc. These get 5 per one. So if we collect all the water from all of these and then take them back to the vendor, so that one's got 5 look, they don't take long either. You know you sort of refill these, go out do your business, come back again 30 minutes maximum and they're all sort of refilled to full and it's very very profit profitable. A water farm is a very good way of making money without doing pretty much anything. Once you've got the plans to a water purifier which you can buy from any of the vendors normally in the White Springs or some trade station vendors you'll be able to get up and running with a water farm which is ideal. So you'll notice there I've just pulled all my water out we're going to go in the train station now and sell it. So we've got boiled water there you'll notice now this is the other thing I want to show you, the perk cards guys, hard bargaining. I've got this one maxed out, this increases the amount of caps you're going to get from the vendors in the game, okay, ideal. So this is on maximum. Don't sell your boiled water that I've just showed you, it's pretty much worthless to be honest with you, it's got to be purified. So if we go to our vendor bot, have a look how much the purified water is worth that I've just picked up. If we go down, let's have a look, see, we've got quite a few so... Should be worth a few caps this one. Purified water. We're actually carrying 33. Okay, so 33, 132 caps. And that's taken no effort at all. You could do that every single time you come back to your camp. So that is a fantastic way of making caps. A great start to getting those 1,400 caps off them. Next up, we're going to do a bit of a fast travel. Depending where your camp is, is how much it costs you to get there. Point Pleasant. If you're far away, travel to Vault 76 first because the distance from 76 to Point Pleasant is tiny and it will only cost you a handful of caps as opposed to paying 50 caps to travel all the way across the map if you're in the mire or somewhere. Although, you know, not that many people have a camp over there for obvious reasons. But yeah, let's go over to Point Pleasant. Once you've arrived at location, you're normally greeted with some really low level bad guys. You'll notice here I've got the lovely ticks that jump at you. If you've got ticks, make sure you pick up the stuff off them uh, because they are actually the ingredients to make stim packs, should you have the recipe for them. Sometimes you get flying things of different types, but I've had ticks an awful lot and they're very handy if they are there. Just a little side note. So we're going to run along the bridge. This area that we're going to visit is split into two locations right next to each other and you're going to need to make sure you get the whole lot of these okay so I've not been in here already and killed everything off this is what you're going to be greeted with so literally you know low level player not a problem you can come here just sort of be a bit careful on the second bit as I will show you shortly when you're collecting these these are mothman eggs okay so we're like a ceremonial worship type area these mothman eggs don't fully disappear look you'll be left with a couple sort of lying there still but you have collected all that batch just move your way around the table keep clicking until it doesn't pick any more up okay that's your first bunch now there's a second bunch of them sometimes there's a uh, scorched on the rooftops there just keep your eye out for those especially if you're a low level run round to the like gated area to the left here another tick there already been killed so maybe another player's been here don't know and we have the main like shrine, if you like. Got a scorch there, look. So we've got some more eggs here, guys. And these are scattered into sort of, well, one, two, three. There's about four major locations. There's a location here in the front of the statue. You'll notice there's still some left on the floor. And then to the left here, there's a bunch. And then just moving on to the inside edge of this semicircle is another bunch. Get them all. Your total is 28. Okay, so if you haven't got 28, you've missed some. And I've got an invisible tick. There we go, kill the tick. Like I say, I always pick the stuff up off it. You might as well pick the stuff up off any scorch that you kill as well, to be honest, so you can sell it. There we go. So, 
And there we go, I'm heavy already, so I'll probably drop that again in a minute. That's that side done. Move around the back of it, go across to the other side. You'll notice two more bunches inside arc there and also the outside arc. Like I say, 28 is your target. That is the, the full amount of them. If you've got 28, you have got them all. Sometimes the scorch shoot at you from the rooftops, um, very rare. Why are you here? Why are you here, rather? Let's get my words out. You might as well visit the shop next door. Okay, so the shop next door, just drop this gun. There we go. The shop next door has some really useful things in it. Okay, so why are you at Point Pleasant? Just go here. Now it's locked, it's a level one, so you'll need level one lock picking. I won't undo it, I won't spoil it, but go in there. There's a toilet door at the back, if we look through the window there, that one. Lock pick that, level one, get in there. The actual key to that door is on the sink behind the door, because it's the bathroom. So make sure you pick the key up for the next time you visit, save your lock picking it again. All the display cases have stuff in worth taking, and behind that door, just to the left, is an opening to a secrety type area. Go there as well while you're here. You might as well, you're not losing anything. So we're going to take our Mothman eggs and go back to camp right now. So back at camp we're going to go straight in to your stove and we're going to get these cooked. Don't worry if you haven't got the recipe it will automatically unlock a recipe because as soon as you pick the item up you get the basic recipe for it. So we're going to cook them and you're looking at 28 Mothman eggs as I was saying. This is normally the part where I run out of wood to be honest with you but uh, this character's pretty okay for wood. Some of my other ones have never got any, so you end up running off to get some. But anyway, cook all your Mothman egg omelettes, that's what it's called. You'll notice 28 there, we'll go through the whole lot of them. Like I say, you do need a bit of wood for this, so make sure you've stocked up accordingly. Now when you've finished all those, we are going to take those Mothman egg omelettes across to the train station vendor. Quite handy having a train station directly opposite the camp here, so uh, you know it's quite quick and easy to go and sell bits and bobs. Like I was saying earlier, I do actually have four characters split over three platforms in this game and I've logged well in excess of a thousand hours, so these, these are sort of things that I've been doing for a very long time. Okay, so we're going to go and sell these eggs now. Let's see how much we get for 28 Mothman eggs. It's quite a bit, you'd be surprised. So we're going to add to aid. And add to the Mothman eggs. 28 equals... 224 caps guys so if we sell him those plus of course you can sell any guns that you've picked up from the scorch that you've killed there because they are low level so we've made already around 400 caps and it's literally taken just a few minutes that is ideal now the next thing that we're going to do is a little bit of a fast travel well, quite a big fast travel actually. If you're a Fallout first player, you might want to put your survival tent up here to save some uh, travelling expense because it's not very often you come up here. We're going to the Crash Space Station. Okay. Now the Crash Space Station is quite a long way, so like I say, make sure you, if possible, there's also a travelling perk card that will reduce the cost of travelling. So let's go up there now. Once arrived, there's sort of a route that I do, and the route basically takes you around the left-hand side of it. You can get Scorch Spawn here, or you can get Super Mutants. In all honesty, Super Mutants are more preferable because sometimes they're carrying uh, laser rifles. Laser rifles are much more valuable than the normally the little hunting rifles that the Scorched are selling. So if you've got Super Mutants, all the merrier. Sometimes you get one with a rocket launcher, sometimes he's got a combat rifle, etc. We're going to go in here first, just kill out the uh, king one here that spawns all the others. Collect anything that's nearby, there's you know, normally a med box that you can see there. Obviously you can pick up all the shotguns and what have you. Probably going to have to jump in my power armour to be able to carry all this. Yeah, it's going to make me overweight otherwise. So let's just spawn the power armour in. Uh, this is an excavator suit I'm going to be using here. It's got calibrated shocks, so in other words it can carry a hell of a lot. My standard armour does have deep pockets, etc, but it's not enough to carry all the junk we're going to get from here. Once inside, before you leave this little area, there is something valuable uh, here that is valuable. So if we just quickly spin round once we're in it, like I say, we'll get... Sometimes you get a psycho on this red box next to the first aid box as well, so that's, that's quite useful. We'll pick all this stuff up. We've got a cultist dagger there, you'll notice. And uh, sometimes a hazmat suit as well in that area. But anyway, the main thing that we're after is right at the top, but if you take this left-hand route, 
go through this tunnel there's also some other bits and bobs to pick up that you will definitely find useful so we've got a red chest here can vary what's in it of course and we got a health box over here now another player has been through here recently there is dead so uh, hopefully everything's still here this is a public server this is not on uh, one of my fallout first private servers I always try and do all this stuff sort of live so you can see any problems I encounter. Okay, we're going to go up to the main door here. There's a couple of scorch to the right, again, very low level. Now, all this is changing in Wastelanders, which is coming out very, very soon. I've been playing Wastelanders for quite a long time in the test program, and all I can say is, because I am NDA tied on this, what we're doing here, this won't change. Okay? So, your caps, the way to get them, no problem. 1118, 111, 418. That's your code for the door. And here we are. Here's the expensive loot. Now, sometimes you'll get two space helmets and two space suits. Sometimes you'll get one of each and a stealth boy and a plan. Or sometimes you'll get the whole lot. You can never quite tell what you're going to get. But either way, you're going to get stuff that's worth good caps. Okay. Little box here. Get a few bits there. And near the door where you've just come in, normally there's a fusion core. It's got about half power in it normally. There we go. Sometimes that's not there, but there is something else to get from here while we're here. Let's kill this scorched. Run around the back here. If we loop round, sometimes on the floor near this crate is a radaway just here. It's not here this time, it's actually gone, but there's sometimes a radaway there or sometimes in the other corner here behind this red, red box worth looking at. So what we're going to do now is mop up the little box there, the chem med box call or whatever you want to call it. That's locked locked so you got to lock pit level one to get in there and to be honest it's not normally got anything fantastic in it so i never bother there is another little area near here that will be featured in my next video but we won't be visiting that today because it's a bit off topic but it is interesting that'll be my next one so we've killed them we've collected all the weapons normally another one there he is so you can come up here as a low level i started coming up here sort of level five six you know just have your wits about you if you're that low level because obviously even the low level enemies can kick ass we're now going to go to the nearest train station to sell all this stuff nice and quiet here today last time i came here there was a scorch beast flying around which is uh, there's a spawn point quite near for them for scorch beast but you don't find it very often up here but last time i came here i had to quickly take care of that stop me trading for a while so let's go inside and sell our goods. So we're looking at, like I say, a basic run, two space suits, two space helmets, few guns. Sometimes, like I say, you will get a stealth boy and stuff. So if we go down to apparel, I do carry way too much, well, of everything around with me, to be honest with you. Um, we have a space suit at 62 caps. So we've got two of those. And if we get rid of those, we've also got two space helmets as well. Now, if you keep an eye on the right-hand side caps for the vendor, he started on 1,400, okay, which was a fresh start for the day. Once we've sold all these, we're going to go down to 780 he's got left. And, of course, we've got some guns and bits and bobs to get rid of that we've picked up, which is, you might as well have them seen as you were up there sort of thing. We've got a few combat rifles. If you're new to the game, you might want to think about breaking those down, scrapping them off, because they will unlock plans for you to modify your own weapons. So it's always worthwhile doing that. But if you're desperately low on caps, yeah, just, just basically sell everything. So that's the third way of making money in this game, via the vendors. Now for the fourth method, we might as well stay here and do it, because in your travels you're going to have collected all stuff like this. Calmex and other chems. Loads of different chems, they're just like dotted around everywhere. And normally I leave it a week, so at the end of the week I'll be carrying tons and tons of the damn things. Actually I've only just cashed these in, so I'm a bit low on them. But you will be carrying Radex, Radex diluted, uh, Radaway diluted, etc, etc. The problem with all these chemicals is, although they have very good properties, they actually weigh you down quite a lot. Even with perk cards running, they will weigh you down. Basic rule of thumb, I try and keep 40 Radex and 40 Rad away, which is ample for absolutely anything. That's, to be honest, even that's way too many. Sell off all the diluted, sell off all the excess ones, sell off all the other daddios and other chemicals that there is and this will net you a nice amount of caps now you're going to find this stuff anyway wandering around the wasteland so you might as well pick up all the ones you sell 
and you might as well get them sold. I mean, look at that, guys. That was 70 caps, I think, for 14 Radex there, something like that. That's that's fantastic. The vendor, after we've sold these, is down to what's he going to be down to? 600 caps, 608 caps. He started on 1,400, and this has only taken a few minutes now. The vendor resets daily, so obviously you can farm these caps every day without any hassle. Of course, we have one more left to go, number five. Number five is an event. Okay, event is Uranium Fever. It kicks off here at Blackwater Mine. Now, we're not really going there for the event, although it does have legendary spawn. If you're a low level, try and go there when you see a high level player there doing the event. And all you've got to try and do is get one bullet hit on every single enemy. Okay, that will basically register that you've hit it. And when it dies, because the other players take it out, it will drop its loot. Don't collect any of the loot until the very end of the event, because there's that many mole miners spawn you will end up with absolutely tons of mole miner gauntlets combat shotguns assault rifles etc etc not to mention all the resources you get from the mole miner suits that they drop so you will get a ton of weapons okay and i mean a lot you'll be very very overweight so you don't pick them up to the end because otherwise you won't be able to move to get out of the way of the enemies when you pick them up it's dead easy all you've got to do is slowly walk and it will be slowly because you're overweight to White Springs Station, which is literally just across the way. You'll be weighed down, so a quick trip across there, sell all your weapons, and that will probably clean the rest of the caps out from the vendor. You will have to wait for that to spawn. But guys, that's it. That's my top five tips for making money from the train station vendors or any vendors that are scattered around the map for that matter. I will see you again very, very soon with another Fallout 76 video. Thanks a lot for watching, and goodbye for now.